I welcome every one of us to today's baptismal service at Group 1 Baptist Church, MD1, MBTS, Ugbomosho. Let us pray. Father Lord, we appreciate you for a wonderful day like this. Daddy, we commit today's service into your able hand. Daddy, have your way from the beginning to end in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. As we proceed with this worship, I want to plead that all of us be on our feet as we sing from our Baptist hymnal. Baptist hymnal 389. Oh, happy day that fixed my choice. 389. shall be singing the first and the last stanza, the first and the last stanza. Oh, happy day that fixed my choice, on be my sin. Your and my God, well may it glow in out of my can tell it's wrap to soul abroad. Happy day, happy day when Jesus was my sins away. He taught me how to watch and pray and live with joy, sing every day. Happy day, happy day, when Jesus was my sins away. The last stanza. I haven't died, yes, soul and vow, that now renew their daily hand, till he lies late, this how I bow, and bless the dead, how bad so dead, happy day, happy day. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has chosen, and we are so glad in it. Uh, now I want to introduce to you the baptismal candidate. Uh, please, if you hear your name, just come to the front and show yourself to the church. Uh, we have three of them who have decided to follow Jesus wholeheartedly, and they are ready to make this known publicly. So, as I call on you, please step forward and show yourself to the church. Bro, James, I decode you. Brother... Adeniyi Ezekiel. Brother Adenito Emmanuel. As you have seen them, 
they have gone through a lot of teachings, a lot of uh, what they need to know as new believers in Christ. And I can tell you that they are ready to go. So as you have decided to follow Christ, I pray the Lord Almighty God will uphold, will uphold your hand in the name of Jesus. His presence will always abide with you in the name of Jesus. You can go back to your seat. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Let us quickly move to a little charge that I'm having for them and for us as well. So I will pray. Our righteous Father will bless you for this uh, notable heart. We we'll pray that you speak your word to our hearts in the name of Jesus. We want to see you in this message, in this brief church. Lord, speak to us in the name of Jesus. We don't want to speak to the baptismal candidate alone. We want to speak to everybody. Lord, speak to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shall we open our Bible to the book of Romans chapter 6? Romans chapter 6, from verse 1 to verse 5. That says, What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means we die to sin. How can we live in any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized in Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? For we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the death through the glory of Father, we too may live a new life. Verse 5. If we have been united with him like this in his death, we will certainly also be united with him in his restoration. Praise the Lord. The title of this charge is uh, Dead to Sin and Alive in Christ. Dead to Sin and Alive in Christ. Uh, the step of baptism is a very great and a bold one for every Christian who is ready to demonstrate and to live a Christ-like life. As we have seen, it is a very uh, significant step in the life of every Christian. This shows that we are, we are Christ's image and we are ready to follow him to any length. From this passage, I want to quickly point out to us three things that I want us to take note. One, you are now a new creature. It is evident that a new creature behaves in different way, in a new way, in a new way, in a new strength, in a new wisdom, in a new knowledge. Now, the candidates who are here are ready to be baptized. It shows that once you are dipped into water, you are become dead to Christ, bringing you up, shows that you are now a new creature. Now, every creature must run away from the old lifestyle. So this is one of my challenges to you today, that you know that you are now a new being. You cannot live as you are living yesterday. The life that you lived yesterday, say bye-bye to them, because you are now a new being that Christ has purchased with his blood. Now, number two, because of our time, dead to sin. So you are now... A new creature does not continue sinning. Look at that way we just read. The Bible says, Shall we continue sinning and expect that the grace of God will be abandoned? Paul says, No, it is not possible. So avoid anything that can put you in sin. The, the third one, baptism is an indication that you are Christ's image. So you should do everything as if you are Christ. Get me right. You should do everything as if Christ is in you. And Christ is in you. Now you have Christ in you. You should not behave like someone that doesn't care. You should be aware that 
you are a carrier of his presence wherever you go. So God expects that you, you, you display and you live a Christ-like character anywhere you find yourself. Now, coming back, I mean, coming down to the end of this church, I have three things for you that people of God, church, will be expecting from you. The expectation of God and people of God from you. One, set your heart in things above. A new creature does not live and amass things on this earth. So every of your heart desires to be on Christ, to be in heaven, to be towards God. Every of your thinking, every of your reasoning, every of your step, so, so that you are of God. Now, number two, let the word of Christ dwell in you so rich to the extent that if you breathe, people will notice that there is word of you. I mean, there is word of God in you. If you cough, people will notice that there is word of God in you. Now, the last one, forsake all uncleanness. Run. Bible says you should run away from every appearance of what? Eh? Sin. Don't wait until you are caught up. Run. Pick race. Bible does not say you should run for sin. Every appearance of sin you should run away from. So I pray that the grace to do this, Almighty God will release upon you in the name of Jesus. So I will pray. Her Father will bless you for this message. Set her thanks and praises in the name of Jesus. As we proceed to the next step, Father, I want to see you. Demonstrate your graceness and presence in our midst in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I thought the church would clap for our Father and the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, man of God, we bless your name. We bless you for that uh, wonderful message. We glorify God. Now we have come to the uh, solemn time of the actual baptism. And I pray as we do the program, the presence of God will be felt in our midst in Jesus' name. I want to encourage the church to continue to sing uh, the hymn we sang at the start. As I will call one by one the baptismal candidate to come to the pool. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our Father, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord. We give you honor for this moment. We pray that you sanctify this pool, this water again. Let your name be glorified. We pray that your presence will come into this water. And the baptismal candidate will fill your hand in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Church, please, let's uh, rise as we continue to sing the hymn. Then I call on our uh, brother Ezekiel Adeni to come to the pool gradually as the church sings. According to the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ, and upon the conversion of your faith in Him, I baptize you today, Brother Isikel Adeni, in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That makes me white as snow, no. Next candidate, please Nothing come gradually. But the blood of Jesus.
according to the commandment or the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ and upon your conversion, the conversion of your faith in him, I baptize you, Brother James Adekwaju, in the name of the Lord God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Is the flow that makes me white as snow? Let the next candidates, no, Brother Emmanuel Adirito, please come. According to the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ and upon your confession of faith in Him, I baptize you today, Brother Emmanuel Adirito, the name of the Lord God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. want the church to join us as we sing the last stanza now. Stanza 4. This is all my hope and peace. the Lord. Hallelujah. We sincerely want to thank God for this time we have had in his presence and we pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, to the baptismal candidates, I want to re-emphasize the encouragement from our pastor the other time. Please, from this moment, you are encouraged to set your mind on things above, on things eternal, things eternal. Praise the Lord. So many things will come your way. We have to focus on Jesus. That you do not allow anything to distract you. As you have taken, you know, this uh, committed step of faith for that. And I pray the Lord will help you to live all your life for him. To allow his word to dwell richly in you. And to avoid all forms of distraction. And I pray that his grace will be sufficient for you. We keep you. And we sustain you to reign with him in his eternal glory at the end in the name of Jesus. And to the entire church, we appreciate your patience. We thank you for your time. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.
And let me see this opportunity to remind you that you should not forget our weekly you know, services, prayer, uh, meeting, the Bible study. And our Sunday service is going to be combined, starting by 7 a.m., coming Sunday, with pray, uh, workers' prayer meeting. Please be encouraged to be punctual. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And let me say again that on Sunday, by the grace of God, we shall observe our Lord's Supper. And especially the baptismal uh, candidates, you are to be there to participate in that program. And God will keep us. After that program, your baptismal certificate will be presented to you accordingly. We are blessed in Jesus' name. Shall we pray together? Our Father, we thank you. We give you praise for this wonderful time in your presence. Thank you for this uh, uh, grace that you have granted us, that you have allowed us this program from preparations to today. Lord, you are lifted in Jesus' name. Pray for the baptismal candidate again. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will sustain you in the name of Jesus. All of us together, on the journey of faith, we will not stumble in the name of Jesus. And at the end, we shall reign with him. Thank you, eternal God. As we go this week, you will keep us. Coming Sunday and during the weekly program, you will glorify yourself. Your praise shall not cease in our mouth. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And the church shout, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. You are welcome to church.